Hey everybody, welcome back to The Preserves. In today's video, we are going to unbox this soldering station it is. It uh, comes with some helping hands and a little spool for your solder and whatnot. And the reason why I got this is because I... I have a soldering station, but the dial on it doesn't work anymore to set in the temperature. And so this actually has helping hands on it and stuff to help hold your help hold your uh, project that you're doing. And in today's video, we're going to actually test it out in this this Randall that I got here. I got some extra parts. That uh, So anyway, this Randall is a base amp, and what I'm thinking about doing is I've had this amp for quite some time, and uh, it worked for, you know, some years, but and then something went wrong with the inside of it, and I'm not really sure what happened with it, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking all of the stuff out of this chassis in here and eventually what I want to do with this is turn it into a, a tube amp and make it into something that I will actually use and right now it's a it's a four ohm speaker in there and I was thinking about changing it to a 8 ohm or a 16 ohm i'm not positive yet but what we're going to do is we're going to tear into this we're going to desolder everything out of it and then um that's what today's video is going to be about so if that sounds interesting to you then go ahead and stick around because we're going to get into this and it's going to be fun all right so we got this up on the bench let's unbox it and see what we've got in here So of course we've got our operating instructions. We've got a stainless steel non-magnetic non -magnetic, uh, pick of sorts, a solder sucker. A little, what I'm guessing is to hold the solder uh, that screws onto the base. We've got a variety of soldering tips. Some, looks like some helping hands that go onto it are bendable in your own way and we've got the soldering station itself a little tiny wrench and it looks like a little sponge for your to clean your soldering tip all right so let's get all this unpackaged Let's get all this unpackaged. There's screws in here. Looks like a little space here as well. Or something. Now I guess it just sits right on top like that. And you see your solder on that. All right. Let's get this. I'm going to go. Let's get this out of the way real quick. And so it looks very decent. I, I still can't read that. Um, it looks like an infinite knob on here. Um, yeah. So I'm guessing that screws on there, yeah? I'm guessing that's what that screws on you. Or you could probably maybe put it on there, but... This obviously sits right in there like that. So, yeah, that's just right here. So, I didn't see any washers that screw on here. Let's get these on. These go right into the side right here. Now, I don't know if this is going to be. I'm going to tighten this down with this, apparently. Yep. Bend that up. I don't know where else that would uh, connect to. Let's turn this on the side so we can. Alright. So, on the knees, it's not just like that. See, you can bend however you want to. Hold on to whatever you're starting. And I think that's, I don't know, that seems like that's kind of like in the way of your. Your, you know, unless you're gonna go like that, I mean, too. It's kind of, in my opinion, it's in a way 
So, and it looks like it's one of these rubber feet, which is, maybe that sits like that. Huh. I don't know, that's weird. So you see that, it, it kind of doesn't line up at all. And there's not, I think it's a poor design because there's not a two-screw hole on either side to hold this in. Hmm. Anyway, let me just find out back. Okay, so we're back and we've got this uh, Randall up on the bench here and we're going to just go ahead and start disassembling it. So I believe this is a top mount. I don't see any screws in the side, but let's just go ahead. So now here's the here's the chassis. It's a pretty small chassis. As you can see, it's just got a bright switch, a threshold and gain and compressor and all that stuff inputs. So uh let's go ahead and uh Get this out of the chassis and then we'll uh, So that's the power power cable. Let's just clip that right out of there. And take this clip off. Get that right out of there. And then we can get these out. And there you have it. There's the board with all of the pots on it. And these are... You know, looks like I bent that one a little bit, but yeah, so there you go. There's the, there's the board and we'll set this aside. Oh, look at that. It has a, has a little, uh, bias pot right in there. 
Right, so cool. we've got our our power plug now. So we've got a three prong cable for our project, next project. And we got all of our switches and jacks out of our chassis. We got a nice little chassis. And then uh, of course we've got some switches. This one was for the This one was for the on off switch and I believe yeah and then this one was just for the this one was just for the bright on and off switch so yeah there you go we've got uh, a nice little chassis we can use here to maybe make a make a small a small tube amp you know we'll have to you know maybe you know we got such a small area in here but i believe it's big enough that we could just do you know we could do our line out and we won't need a headphone jack or any of that stuff but what we can do is maybe get a you know because it, ah, yeah, it was a little bent there uh we can maybe drill some holes in the back back here on this side and put a couple of maybe right over here and use one of these holes or maybe we can move them over or something and just cover these up and uh make a small little tube amp out of this so anyway that's going to be today's video the disassembly of my uh of my Randall base amp that no longer worked anymore. I'm sure, I'm sure we could get, could have got it to work in some fashion, but I'm not a bass guitarist. I'm not a guitarist, but what we can do is probably, you know, use some of these parts and other projects or whatever, you know? So we actually can, take this off and we can take this off and so now we got a little output board right there that's already pre-wired up cool we've got a bunch of bunch of little parts in here that are probably too small to use anymore like you know but cool yeah, like this one's a 4700 microfarad at 25 volts. Both of these are. This one's a 220 microfarad at 25 volts. I think all those are. Yep. So, I mean, we've got quite a few little tiny capacitors and stuff so yeah that's gonna do it for the preserves today guys that was just basically a disassembling and trying out my new solder station here and move it out here Ooh, that's hot move it out here so little solder station with helping hands to to um hold whatever you're working on i think this is a pretty pretty decent we've got a few parts now that we can put in our parts bin that i've got over here on the over here and this can hold your project doing whatever you need to do and it's got little rubber shoes on it and the solder station comes with a few different kind of tips uh, i wish i probably would have put the this other flatter tip on to desolder i think that would have worked a lot better actually instead of that pointy one anyway there you go guys that's the end of this video for today if you enjoyed this video um leave a like and a comment and share this video if you want 
And if you haven't already, subscribe. All right. Peace, guys.